In Tartuga, you are a buccaneer, taking your treasure to the legendary pirate haven of Tartuga. Other pirates are on the high seas, and you must load your cannons and brandish your sabers to protect your booty. The game plays in about 30 minutes and is for two to four players. Every player has five dice in their color, a screen, and a board on which to plot their turn. A ship marker and crew marker are placed on the player boards. Each player then randomly draws two treasure chests and places them on their board. Treasure tokens, which players may draw from, are placed face down around the island board. A pile of bonus tokens are placed on the island. A round of play begins with all players rolling their dice behind their screens and choosing a die or multiple dice. When rolling your dice, you must always choose one die to be placed on the player board on every roll. When choosing multiple dice, they must be of the same icon. Skulls are wilds. All five dice have them, and they are labeled A, B, C, D, and E. These letters correspond to the chart on the back of your screen. If skull A is rolled, choose which icon on that die you want to use. Each die is unique. After the first roll and dice have been chosen, all players reveal their choices and place them on their player board in the area with the corresponding icon. All players roll their remaining dice and another choice is made. This continues until all players have assigned all their dice to their player boards. Often a player has assigned all their dice, while others may still have dice to roll. This player gets to take a token from the pile on the island and place it, plus one side up, on any open ring on their player board. This adds a bonus of plus one to that action whenever it is activated with a die placement. If the other players still have more dice to roll, this player gets to either draw another bonus token from the island, plus one side up, and place it on another ring, or he may turn his first bonus tile over to the plus two side. Let's dive right into a turn. In this setup shown, Bill is in first place with the highest total number of ships. Kathy is in second place. Bill moves his ship up two on the ship track. This increases the number of treasures his ship can carry to the island of Tartuga to three. Kathy moves her ship up by one on the ship track. This did not increase her ship's ability to hold more treasure, but should she be attacked by another player and loses one ship, she will not lose her ship's capacity to carry two treasure chests. Roger put one die, but is in third place, so he has no action. The crew works in the same way ships do. Finding the right balance between these two tracks is key to the movement of treasure to Tartuga. Roger is in first place for the treasure. He draws one treasure chest from the bag and places it on the right-hand side of his player board. He then takes two treasure tokens from around the island. He keeps one and mixes the other back in around the island board. Kathy is in second place. She gets to draw one treasure token. These tokens have one to three gold on the reverse side. That counts as victory points at the end of the game. Now it's time for some swashbuckling. Bill is in first place with cannons. He picks a player to attack. Roger has the treasure chest in a color that would help Bill complete a set. Roger moves his ship one space down on the track and Bill gets to take one treasure of his choice from Roger and places it on the right hand side of his player board. Roger had a cannon, so he does get to fire back at Bill. Bill moves his ship down one on his track. Because of the loss of a ship, Bill can no longer carry as many treasure chests as he currently has on his ship track, so he loses a treasure chest to the island board. Kathy is in second place with cannons. She now chooses a player to attack. She could choose not to attack at all. If she does attack, it will have to be Bill, as Roger was already attacked this round. Kathy chooses to attack. Bill moves his ship down one on the track, and Kathy does too, as Bill has a cannon to fire back at Kathy. Kathy can now take a treasure from the island. The saber battle is played out in the same way as the cannons, only it is the crew track being affected. Now let's move some treasures, or booty as pirates like to say. Moving treasure to Tartuga is done in three steps. 
First, slide all treasure chests to the safe area on the player board. This treasure can no longer be stolen or lost. Second, slide all the treasure chests from the crew area to the ship area. Keep in mind your ships have to be able to carry all the treasure chests your crew has been carrying onto the ship. Treasure is lost to the island if your ships cannot hold it. Third, move all your treasure chests you have been stockpiling on the right hand side of your board to the crew section of the board. Keep in mind carrying all the booty is backbreaking work. If you do not have enough crew to carry the stockpile, you lose treasure to the island. After this is complete, check for end game conditions. Six treasures in Tartuga ends the game, and a final scoring takes place. Tartuga is an easy to learn and exciting dice game for young and old buccaneers.